which on this machine will set it to 100%. I have seen on 32 inch screens control zero setting it to 125%. So this will help you a little bit, but be wary of the fact that if you're using a very large widescreen monitor, um, control zero brings it to 125. So we'll have to talk about that later. But in the meantime, what we can do is we can create a little a little test. Browser, um, Internet Explorer, zoom zero percent, uh, zoom to zero. Okay, it's a little bit of a long name, and I'm going to use send keys. The caption will be maybe you could set it for the entire browser, but Tricentis obstacle course works for me for the time being okay it doesn't really scale but it's good enough um, and it took me a little bit of figuring out it's, it's always the way actually guys every time I got to do something with send keys I have to go in and I have to use the manual I'm ashamed to say but that's what the manual is for okay that's what the manual is for quote carrot quote carrot then I put the zero in there okay control I'm sending control zero um, send control zero to normalize zoom. Now let's just go back here and set the browser to something ridiculously small. So small you'd need the Hubble telescope to read it. Let's just give it a go. Let's see what happens. Did it work? Yes, it did. We can leave that down. Let me just scroll up. Okay. Get rid of that. So now we can say, oh, look, please review my code. No, oh, it looks okay. Actually, I'd really love some feedback from you guys if you do actually like the way I'm doing things here. Um, we set that to completed. Okay. And now maybe we could put this into some sort of reusable test step library or something like that. We have a little folder here for... Create a test step library. Great, okay. Create reusable test step block. Good name? Okay. Let's just drag that in there. Alright, cool. And then there it is. Now, if we look at the other test, sorry. Now I have it in both places. Okay. Um, I don't want that either. And if we go in here to the escape thing, what happens if we drag that in there? Oh, it actually moves it. Okay. Now, I just want to bring that up like that. But it's actually taking the entire test step. What am I doing wrong? Let me take that up. No, I don't like that either. Maybe just bring it up like that. Maybe that's the way to do it. Let's see what happens. Open URL gonna let's kill that off. Let's set the zoom to something silly. Kill it off. And now it should open the URL. And uh, obviously the name isn't great. Um, oops, Daisy. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Open the URL. Set the browser to zero. Whatever. Okay. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Yeah, worked fine. Go to Tosca using Alt and Tab, and we can see that we have called um, the reusable test step block. Cool. I'm not sure if that's how you do it properly. I need to double check that, guys. It's been a long time since I did this. 
Um, close that. Close that. Let's look, just look, look at the window. Yeah, and it closed the window. Okay, cool. So that's that. A reusable test step block inside here. Okay. Now I should go in here and reference that in all of these places. Okay, but I'm not going to do that right now. And I think what I've just created is called technical debt. All right. Let's stop recording there. Cheers, guys. Bye.